uh, work is to hack into system for the companies, for the banks and let them know what are the vulnerabilities are there and they pay to us for that. It's, it's a good thing. You know? We are hacking and they are paying us. So we like it actually. So it's like your passion and uh, when your passion becomes your profession, it becomes a passion for others, you know. And, uh, and I think it's a trending field, cyber security. Today in my talk I will talk about uh, things like uh, the real hackers, criminal hacking, um, bitcoins, uh, cyber espionage, these are very standard terms in ethical hacking but, but mainly they are not known to public. So let me start my talk with a topic known as uh, hacking beyond 2020. So what hacking field will look like in 2020 and as a citizen of India at law, what are the problems you have to face when you are digitally too much connected. So first let me talk about digital payments. Five years or ten years back, what was internet for you? YouTube, Orkut, if anyone remember, anyone from Stone Age like <laughs> Orkut, right? That is what the platform we used to chat and Facebook came, now we have Instagram, Snapchat, you name it. So there was a study that you check your phone almost more than 340 times a day, right? And that's a huge amount of time you're spending on mobile. So, smartphone, digital internet, something, they are not just an internet or facility to, work, to us, you know, it, it, they are becoming our part of life. I don't know whether you pray or not when you open your eyes, but you check your WhatsApp first. That's how, how indulged we are in the technology. So, when we talk about digital payments, in, in five days back, the money was not involved in the, in, in the internet. And that's why the criminal was not interested to hack you. They just want to destroy you. That's why you need to pay. The virus is destructive your computer and it's slow. So more of a destructive purposes they are designing. Nowadays criminals, is, criminals are not interested into your uh, computers or whatever. They are interested in your money. Because you do online banking. Banks tell you use online keyboard. But you never use that. Yes or no? How many use online keyboard here? I use sometimes. And nobody knows. Other are only cash. Okay. So, so that's the problem we have. But now, now because there is too much money more into our daily activity, you book your cap from Ola, money more into it. You buy something from grocers or this basket, money more into it. You want to buy something or shop something on online, Amazon or Flipkart or Snapdeal, money more into it. So there is too much money on the internet in your daily activity. And that is the reason criminals are interested in when someone, some real criminal, physical criminal has to steal money from your pocket, they have to do the big pocketing and all. But now because internet, internet is international, so it has given, it's just like we have given flight tickets to criminals to fly down from one country to another virtually and steal money from your house. Today it is possible we are sitting in Delhi, there is a criminal in Bulgaria, he is stealing your money. The credit card can be used internationally. So digital payments are going to be a big pain for you. Now let me tell you, show you a demonstration. How many using a debit card and credit card? Can you raise your hand? So, so if you don't mind, can I have a credit card or debit card? <laughs> so now, I'll show you when you daily go to what, 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 what a traditional crime look like. I think this is the first time I'm going to show this. I haven't shown that in many tech talks, so I think it will be very good for you. So have very World debit card. It's a very premium card, I guess. So let me show you something now. So it's a chip base, so it's a it's a five, right? Okay. So this my stuff. Yeah. So this is a device in my hand. This device is known as skimmer. How I got it? Let's not talk about that. But it's a criminal device. <laughs> so this device is kind of a replica of your daily devices when you go to shop they have a small device we call it what? anybody? swipe machine swipe machine oh, that's a good thing swipe machine we don't call it swipe machine because we swipe doesn't mean we swipe swipe machine if someone sweep is a sweep machine <laughs> no right so this skimming device has a capacity to record what is digitally stored, stored into it so let's take an example how it works Suppose you, so how a traditional crime works till now? So this is something which is till now. We will talk about 2020. So you went to a restaurant and there is a waiter. He looked like me. <laughs> so 
actually a baby. <laughs> not a black suit. So he laid me as okay, sir, can I have you? And after four or five drinks, you know, you're out. Now you have to brag with my cart. And you will give it in cart. Now the waiter is like, you know, very sharp, you know. And he will take your cart, sir, I just come in a moment, sir. And he come back and suddenly he will do his board. He will start this cart. You can see the lights here. Color blind people will see blue light. So I just for your knowledge, you can swipe like this or this, and that's all. The only thing I have to remember is this pin code. That is, mm -hmm. camera sir. So thank you so much sir for your card. Now, so thank you so much for coming to our to our restaurant. We are a valued customer for customer for us, and uh, I hope you enjoy our services. And we have made a transaction, money transaction. You will like it more. <laughs> so now, what I will do is in this device. I have recorded his transaction and this is card details. What are the details? Expiry date, card number, and his CV. I just grab three digits. Come on, you return it. It's no, no, no. <laughs> so now, would you like to see his card details? Yes. So they don't have the CV. We don't Smart. <laughs> so I will also even they will not understand that for sure. I take that entire responsibility. Any transaction happen to your account will be double for you. <laughs> so now details are in, uh, installed into this device, and now I'm going to sync these details to my server and uh, to this software, and you can see that his name and rest of the things. You trust me, right? It's not fake. I don't know him. I just know him now, and uh, obviously I've seen his videos and all. So let me upload the details, and uh, you can see here. There are some details which are there. Your card number is 4363030094. Something, is it? Yes? Okay. So I will tell you that five dates, first digit, it's 03. That's enough time. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you. So let me erase, erase it in front of all so that uh, I do blame them. So as you can see, we are empty. After digital payments, Definitely there are going to be huge crime for sure and you as a citizen has to aware about that. Now what you can do? Have you ever write down the conditions? Do you know they exist? <laughs> of course, good. Give a thought. So today the homework for you is and everyone who is watching video, please go through the video in terms and conditions of Google and Facebook. I think you have gone through now. After so much camera generating and stuff. So I want that you name five companies you are dealing with, especially Snapchat and uh, you know Instagram and so on. You are dealing with equity. You read the terms and conditions. And trust me, you are not going to use that again. If you are a core privacy concerned person, and again, digital payments are going to be increased because WhatsApp is coming up with the payments and after that, kind of trying to make their new ways of uh, breaching into your technology and tricking you to get money out of them. So you have to be very very careful in terms of digital payments. Please. Make sure you use the basic security compromises like use OTP, never share the OTP, do not install some bad applications into your phone, just like small APK, unknown APK, especially for the Android users, right? To give your phone, same phone on, on the phone when you do online backing to your child, he's playing Candy Crush there from an unknown source and then he install GTA pirated version, which is designed by a criminal and automatically your entire details is going to be synced by the criminal and he can see your SMS. He can see your SMS, he can see the OTP, he can see all the verification process and can transfer money and reset your account if he wants. And this is happening in real time, I'm not kidding. Now, what more we, what more we have, have to tackle in 2020 is cyber terrorism. Terrorists are changing nowadays because they are not uh, stupid people who are sitting on cameras and getting the guns and doing something, you know. They are very sharp people nowadays. They, the good part is not only they are using computers, they have skills now to have a very anonymous communication. And along with that, they are capable today to write their own algorithms. That is our code only using uh, communication method. They are using uh, some encryption technologies which cannot be intercepted by the governments. And let me show you 2001. You know, I remember 2001, Al-Qaeda attack. In way back to the event, terrorists use some kind of methods to communicate with each other and uh, it's very difficult to understand that. Then I'll show you new ways of their communication. Okay? Dear Priyanka, 
by the grace of God. You are selected for a great cause. That is
Now this is happening real time in 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 in, in India. And in future, in 2020, this will be the first topmost crime because now hackers are giving services like this in dark internet, deep internet, which is not traditionally comes on Google. So they will take money out of you, five lakh rupees, and then they start harassing someone, with whatever whatever the person you want. So this is a service, hacking as a service. Then last is cyber warfare. In 2011, Iran come up with come up with their nuclear power plant ambitions, and UK, US and Israel made world's first cyber weapon, which was purely for the destructive purposes. And it hits Iran nuclear power plant. And in case you know how to make a nuclear bomb, so there is a uranium. You crush the uranium. There is a machine known as center fusion. So center fusion machine spins and create gas, and gas goes to atomic bomb, and you know the whole process, right? So that center fusion machine spins uh, on a certain rpm rotation per minute you know that malware when it hits the entire uh, nuclear power plant it increased the speed more than 10000 times or maybe 1000 times and suddenly the entire session was burst you know and the entire nuclear power plant was burst united nation asked iran what happened but they didn't tell them but actually it was a stuxnet world's first cyber weapon and the worst part happened that iran come up with their another way they reverse engineer the malware and then start hitting the us power grids with the same malware so so you can understand that if you hit someone today on internet it will come back to you and they came back very strongly and the worst part is this malware is right now in public domain and anyone can download that and hackers are using this thing to destroy small businesses small pipeline stations and so on the last thing is in future the only thing which is on stake for you and me is privacy privacy will be luxury trust me if you have very minimum data on internet for you on you you will be treated as the most prime person in the society indians are going through a mode of we i am going to I, this is a revolution going on i call it indian vomiting revolution we are vomiting information on in on internet we are personal information our private information every second we are popping up stuff on twitter or on snapchat and you got people are going crazy you know so they don't understand that internet is a part of life it's not a life and this comment is coming from a geek whose work is technology so one thing we have to understand here that in future there are a lot of problems which are which we have to feel and the only one who can protect us from this is you So finally, as I talk and my talk with every time that with one quote that definitely our nation is going to become a digital India, but we cannot achieve a successful digital India when we are not going to have a secure digital India. If you want to have a smart city, but the infrastructure which is imported from some other country, it, there is a possibility there is a there is a malware into that hardware, and if that hardware is going to install in the entire city, some country can control the entire city and even then can kill us. so if you really want to achieve a digital india then i think every citizen of india has to have a little bit understanding of cyber security and trust me that is possible thank you so much